Hi guys, today I've got a video that's a little bit different. It's kind of a collaboration with my partner and his friend's channel, which is called The Hive Channel. And actually I'm kind of a part of it too. Uh, I'm gonna be uploading any gaming videos that I might do, <clears throat> including sort of stream highlights and things like that to this channel. And um, just because I want to keep my channel focused on art. So, and they're doing a gaming channel, so I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool. Like, so they've kind of started this YouTube channel from scratch, basically, and they do things like unboxings and gameplay and let's plays and reviews as well. So it's it's kind of cool and it's nice to see, obviously, my partner and a friend doing something really nice and cool and creative, a little bit different. So yeah, it's really it's really fun and. Um, so they got the Bloodborne, I think it's the Nightmare Edition or something like that and it comes with this quill and red calligraphy ink, I suppose it's meant to look like blood and uh, we decided to do a giveaway from my channel to sort of show you guys like their channel and uh, basically we decided to do a giveaway of a drawing using the ink and quill that came with the set. So. This is for an original, it's not for a print, it's not for a, you know, a recreation of it, it's for the actual original piece. So if you want to enter to win it, then just look at the uh, information in the description. It's things like subscribing to their channel, retweeting, things like that. Um, so yeah, just, just to sort of help them along, give them a bit of a shout out. So check out the description and um, I'll talk a little bit about the sort of the process because I've never used a quill and like an ink dipping pen before ever. Um, I've used fountain pens, we used to write with them in university, uh, not university, in school, primary school even, a long way off university. And I, I like using fountain pens, but I've never used a dipping pen. And this was just crazy. It was just like constantly dipping it. Like I'd, I didn't know that it wouldn't hold a lot of ink. And so I'd, I, I found it really hard to get the balance right of ink and sort of you know not having to dip it so often I don't know I'd, I've never used it before so I don't know if I was doing it right I was such an amateur so it was a completely new experience for me entirely and it was kind of fun so I'm not sure if I'd do it again like on a regular basis I prefer things like brushes and softer things <laughs> but it was nice to get like different line weights as well as um, sort of just experimenting with something completely different to what I normally do and yeah I've, I've slowed bits of this video down so you can kind of see details with the way that I've approached it um, or little bits that I thought would look a bit better slower so let me know if you like that kind of format instead of because uh, I, I was debating doing some slower length videos and uploading them um, as unlisted videos so you could kind of see both processes but that would take me a lot of time and I Honestly, I have a lot of other stuff to do with my business, so I decided to just slow down a few bits in this and sort of experiment with that kind of format for my videos. So if you like that, please let me know. Um, oh, also I smudged, I smudged the ink there. Ink is very unforgiving, but I want to start using ink a lot more with washes and things like that. But um, you'll see later this magical splotch appears and that's when um, I picked the pen up after I washed my hands after I smeared it here and then um, when I went to pick the pen back up I I don't know how but it just went blob <laughs> and I didn't notice until it was too late so I tried to cover it back up a little bit later on but you'll see that in a second you're like oh yeah <laughs> but yeah it was, it was a really cool experience something I've never ever tried before with art so it's it's cool um I decided to go for I, I don't know what class this is I can't remember because I actually haven't started playing blood bomb myself and my partner doesn't have it it's it's Dave who's the other guy with the channel there's a splotch and um he he's been playing it so there's some um let's plays on their channel of Bloodborne, but um I don't know what class this is, the guy with all the, f the feathery cape thing, but I like drawing feathers a lot, so I decided to go for him um, with his cool little sort of sorting hat on his head. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know much about Bloodborne. Um, 
I watched Ryan play Dark Souls, but I don't know if the two are even in the same kind of universe at all. I don't think they are. So, but it, it's all the same kind of um, theme almost. It's by the same studio, so it's cool. It's got the same kind of look to it. But I had no idea what to do for the background either because I was like, I don't do backgrounds and I'm in a medium that I don't understand and I'm trying to do a background, which is another thing I don't understand very well. And so I thought, right, I'm just going to do some trees, I'm going to do some road. So <laughs> it's just trees and road. And I copied the lanterns from um, some of the screenshots that I found on Google Images. But yeah, so the tree was fun because I'd kind of got used to the flow of the ink in the pen at this point and so I started to fill it in a lot more and do a bit more blocking with the ink so then I was like I'm gonna add another tree so I added kind of like another tree a little bit later on <laughs> um but yeah it was it was a lot of fun and I hope that it, it looks okay um I was going to add color into it but with the the vibrancy of the red ink is it's really really bright and I didn't know what to add to it. I was thinking of adding some grey, just for toner. And I didn't know because I thought like if I do it wrong and it looks absolutely hideous, the whole thing is just completely ruined and I have to do it all again. So I thought, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it white and red so that you just get the, just the ink. It's all just done with the entirety of the Bloodborne limited edition set. So I kind of left it at that. Um, I did draw it on Bristol board, obviously that did not come with the limited edition set, <laughs> but I, I drew it on Bristol board and it's A5 size as well, so it's not small. Um, and we are shipping this out for free, so check out the description and enter the giveaway if you want to win it. And there's actually another giveaway coming up on my channel soon, so hopefully there's chances to win lots of things on my channel and their channel as well, because they like to do giveaways. and. Like I said, if you want to see me playing games, then head over to that channel and I'll be uploading some videos on there myself in the future as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you'll enter the giveaway. See you soon.